Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be talking about the 1949 Australia Halfpenny. I apologize, this is not the best condition example, but uh, we'll definitely get the job done. And we'll start with the design, then get into the uh, history of the coin and the value. But uh, you can see it's a leaping kangaroo. Uh, there's also a mint mark. That dot there means that it was minted at a specific mint, uh, the Perth Mint, and we'll get into that in just a moment. But uh, on the front of the coin, we have King George VI. Um, and the lettering DG, B, R, Omn, Rex, Fid, Def, Int, uh, but they don't have uh, Fid, A, Def, they don't have in Imp. Uh, this was a switch that they made in 1949 after India got independence, and what it means is King uh, George the Sixth, by the grace of God, King of all the British territories, Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India. Um, and this coin was a bronze coin. Uh, it's 5.67 grams, so that just you know, so you get a sense of the size. Uh, we'll move on quickly, but it was made from 1949 to 1952, and then uh, King George the Sixth passed away, and then Elizabeth, uh, Queen Elizabeth, uh, joined us. Um, this was made to be circulated, spent like any normal change, uh, and it was one four hundred and eightieth of an Australian pound. They would do you know two half pennies in one penny, um, one or twelve pennies in one shilling and 20 shillings in one pound. So they switched away in 1966, demonetized all of these coins, so you couldn't spend this today, but it would be a very tiny amount of money if you were even able to spend it. Um, there are different mints, so the uh, dot right after penny is going to mean Perth Mint, um, and then if it's PL, it might be Heaton's Mint or the Royal Mint, but um, in terms of the mintage, uh, if it's no dot there, it'll be from the Melbourne Mint which is a slightly rare coin, and there were two, uh, 22,310,000 of these made in this condition. You know, this is kind of damaged, so it's really worth probably like 25 cents or 50 cents, but if it didn't have any of this corrosion, it would be worth about a dollar, and in uncirculated condition, something like this, uh, this is a half penny uh, from Great Britain, uh, this would be worth like 15 bucks starting out and can get higher if it's in really, really nice condition. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian and I own The Coin Dictionary and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.